is a Warhammer 40k battle report with 500,000 points, sponsored by Battlefoam, Army Painter, and Secret Weapon Miniatures! Bane blade took out its last structure point. Now we're gonna see if it goes apocalyptic. Three plus. It does. It goes apocalyptic. So three. Yeah. Three d six inches. Whoa. Four. Can you hop them? Yeah. All but three. Two raveners insta kill. The high current takes a wound. Trigon takes a wound. Carnifex takes a wound. What about the turbagon? Does it take a wound? Let's see. It, yes, does. it does. So it's down to five wounds as well. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> 16. Just the lord left with that group. And we got to do the other group. Point up two. All but three. All but three. All oh, four genes that just came on, and then a Bane Blade went apocalyptic and took them all out. Very sad. Rail Guns finally did something to finish off that Bane Blade. Does it go apocalyptic? Three plus it does. Three plus it does. Five. It goes apocalyptic. Oh, it's not a lot of targets, just tanks. Yeah. Alright, Turbo Laser from the Titan to finish off this Bane Blade. So, 3 plus, it goes apocalyptic. 6, it goes apocalyptic! 13 inches. 13 inches, gets a strength 9, AP2 hit. Oh, yeah. This thing won't get touched by a Vortex. Even so the Shadow Sword just got taken out by a Vortex, or taken out by a Vortex. Does it go apocalyptic? Big numbers! It does! It goes apocalyptic! Everything within 36 inches will take a strength 9, AP2 hit. How far? How far? Oh, six, six inches. <laughs> Still, that's pretty good. Okay, the guys in the back of the battle suits got eight, eight feet one hits. Yep. Yeah. So we're rolling to see if you pen. Uh, no, they already pen. Oh, eight penetrating. Yeah. So plus one. Structure point, structure point, chain reaction. It only had and two. structure point. And structure point. Okay, so roll to see if it goes apocalyptic. It does. Three six inches. How far? Oh. So, Nine inches. It's gonna hit everything around. Yeah. So all the cells have died. The battle in the back are dead. A bunch of guys in the front die. And Bane Blade, of course, is now dead too. So lots of apocalypse explosions. All right. Hormigons assaulted into the Terminators. Forty wounds, and they all die. Yep. All right. Remove them. Goodbye, Terminators. I killed three of them in return. So. All right. We just got a chain reaction on this big guy. Oh. AP one. Oh, it's gone. It's a go apocalyptic. Yep. It does. How far does it go apocalyptic? 3 to 6 inches. 14 inches! Apocalyptic! That's another point for the Xeno. So the Titan from over there, fire to destroyer hit into these guys. It's just resolving right now. What's happened so far with the destroyer hit? It's blowing up your land raiders. So both these land raiders have been destroyed. 
and they've exploded and they're now damaging everything around them as well. So the barb here dual fires and what happened? You lost my arm. You lost your other arm. Okay, so we got three Carnifexes, one there, sorry, three Carnifexes, yep. and two up there. So you're rolling threes to hit? Yep. Oh, good. Okay, small dice or strength 10, everything else is strength 9. Oh, lots of misses. But re-rolls. So you get to re-roll ones, because of your side and tones. Did he get, did he get, go! Oh. Okay, so remove the twos. Okay, so now you gotta start rolling armor penetration. So, 10 penetrating hits and one glance. Do the glance first, just because it's boring. Alright, who cares? Alright, 10 penetrating hits. And 4 structure points left. Okay, here we go, come on, you can do it, you can do it! How many you got? You got 10? You got 10. Alright, you got 10. Alright, 10 penetrating hits. Oh, one and a chain reaction. And uh, lots of weapons destroyed. Okay. Okay. Chain reaction. Chain reaction. Roll another six. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. oh. I'm down to one. One. Oh, I've got, I still got my Rysthetics fours. Yeah. Oh. But they're only strength. Six, but still huh. monstrous creatures. That's true. Yeah, they've done it already. So my set explorers can still do it. Six attacks into my set explorers. Two hits. They're, they're only, yeah, there we go. First one is a... Tables? Yeah. Nothing. Second one is... Penetrated! Hey. Oh. Oh. Roll five or oh. six and Scott. Oh. Only one hit, only one. Five or six. Oh! So three, three weapon destroyed though. All right, all right, and now the hero duel is charging the Titan. I guess six attacks, hitting on three. And so that's four hits. Now three penetrating. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, you want to watch this? Three penetrating. Does it go apocalyptic? Bro, okay, hold on, hold on. All right, go. Three plus. Oh! Okay, so everything within 8d6, which will be everything touching it, gets a destroyer hit. So that stuff is all going to be gone. 8d6. 8 dices. Oh. Oh. Come on. Roll nice and high. Nice and high. Yes! Oh! Okay, we've got 9, 14, 19, 25, so it's below average actually. 25 inches. Everything, destroyer hit. And the aftermath. Almost. All those guys are gone too? Yeah. I swung the Is that a Titan? He's a Gargantua. Yeah. So he's not dead from a destroyer hit. This guy's gone, he's dead. What happened to the Bane Blades? Did they take anything? They, they, no, they blew up a forehead. So the, so, yeah. One of them lost the cannon. Okay, so the destroyer didn't do much of them. A uh, small explosion. Strength a couple three. cannons got fired into that Bane Blade and it's gone as well. So go ahead and remove that big bad boy. Six melted guns into the Titan. Three from the squad first. Okay, three from the one squad. Two hits. Two hits. First one. Seven. So. That's the penetrating. And the second one. Two penetrating. What happens with those? You got two structure points left, right? Yep. Four, five, six. Five, that's one. Six. Oh! It goes. Now it doesn't go apocalyptic. A two plus? Three plus. We're still turn three. Three plus. Three plus. Does it go apocalyptic? Yeah. Hey, it does! Oh, I talk. <laughs> All right, it goes apocalyptic! How far? 3d6 inches. Go. Really? Do the on. Oh, wait, no. How many inches does it go? It's, it's a Titan. It's a little uh, different, isn't it? Warlord. This is Warlord, so it goes six. 
Warlord though. 46? Oh, Warlord, sorry. Six, yeah. Six, yeah. 66. Six. Strength D. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so 5, 10, 15, 18. 18 inches, everything's strength D hit. That's awesome. On a Imperial Guard are all dead. Explosion. explosion. Explosion on the. Not that you need that. No, I wouldn't bother with the explosion. Yeah, yeah, you know what? They have to make some vulnerable saves right now to see if they're alive. I mean, quite, quite a few. Only four, four of the Terminators go down. Everybody else made their 5 plus and vulnerable saves. But two of the guys that make 3 plus go down. Can you remove that too? There's uh, um, 10 guys in there. 10 guys inside that. I gotta These guys are all gone. Yeah, these guys, all gone. Right, That's apocalyptic, baby. Okay, we've got the Vortex missile managed to fire. Where are you placing it? It's a 10 inch Vortex. It ignores that it so vortex right there. No cover saves or anything, eh? No, no invulnerable saves either. This is all gone, and this is all gone. And it becomes a regular for the rest of the game or until doubles are rolled. And there's the vortex left over. So Gan's cool and a bunch of knobs were inside the battle wagon that got sucked into the vortex. That's not bad. About 800 points. Or more. Only 800 points? Uh, Oh yeah, that sucks. Okay, we got a bunch of tanks fired into the hero duel, and it dies! And what destroyed it? A shadow sword destroys the Stompa, and it goes apocalyptic. Yeah, either that or Everything within nine inches. Same thing. Strength Titan Hammer Squad tossed a vortex grenade into the Bane Blade and destroyed it. Did it go apocalyptic? We haven't found out yet, we we're waiting for you. Alright, roll. So, he did guess you want to roll this? Apocalyptic. Okay. It does. It's apocalyptic. Okay, correction. That was a vortex grenade from the Xeno side hitting the other one because it just moved in the subsequent turn. So that's a point for Xeno. Thank you.